Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy and horror books being published the week of March 12th, 2024. We love the science fiction, fantasy and horror community about as much as we love the books. Maybe we love the people more, maybe the books. There's just so much love to go around. Anyway, we are so grateful for the support coming through on the annual fundraiser, which covers a significant portion of the cost for what we do. Like NPR and PBS, we have to ask you for money every year. And in return, we are offering tons of excellent rewards like signed books, author chats, tuckerizations, meaning you get characters named after you by authors of your choice, and out of print big name books you can even get personalized. To you. Thank you also to everyone who came through and offered a video testimonial telling the world what Locus is for and how much they appreciate the hard work that we do. Lots of fantastic people like Neil Gaiman, Nalo Hopkinson, Paolo Bacigalupi, Nisi Schald, Cory Doctorow, and so many fabulous people. I wish I could just name them all. If you know anyone who wants to write this kind of fiction, please send them this video. If you write, if just go watch it as a reminder that everybody starts somewhere and Locus is a resource that can help you work out how to find your way in this industry. I just want you to go see them talk once you're done with this video or I don't mind, you can throw me over and go see them first. I'll put a link in the thing. Onward to books, first up science fiction, we have six titles. From Premium Muhammad, we have The Siege of Burning Grass, out from Solaris UK in hardcover and ebook. This is a science fiction novel. Alifret, the founder of Varkal's pacifist resistance, was bombed and maimed by his own government, locked up in a secret prison and tortured by a visionary scientist. Now they're offering him a chance at freedom. Ordered to infiltrate one of Medariz's flying cities, obeying the bloodthirsty zealot Kadur, he must find fellow anti-war activists in the enemy's population and provoke them into an uprising. From Hao Jingfang, we have Jump Knots out from Ad Astra in hardcover trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a science fiction first contact novel, the first in a series. An archaeologist believes aliens have visited Earth every 600 years, and a new visit is imminent. Translated from the Chinese by Hugo and Nebula award-winning author Ken Liu. From Izzy Wasserstein we have These Fragile Graces, This Fugitive Heart, out from Tachyon Publications in trade paperback and ebook. This is a cyberpunk novella of corporate intrigue and fractured identity, about a trans woman dealing with her fears of losing her community because of her past. From Micaiah Johnson, we have Those Beyond the Wall, out from Del Rey in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a science fiction novel set in the world of the space between worlds. Scales, an enforcer who keeps the peace in Ashtown, a climate-ravaged desert town where the Emperor rules with poisoned claws and an iron fist, has to find out why mutilated bodies keep turning up. I'm guessing they were murderated? That seems likely. From Jane Hannigan, we have Toxic, out from Angry Robot UK in trade paperback and ebook. This is a science fiction novel, sequel to Moths. Forty years ago, the world changed. Men became crazed killers and threatened all humanity. Now the world might be about to change again. From Nathan Tavares, we have Welcome to Forever, out from Titan Books UK in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a science fiction novel, a sweeping psychedelic romance of two men caught in a looping world of artificial realities, edited memories, secretive cabals, and conspiracies to push humanity to the next step in its evolution. Fox is a memory editor, one of the best, gifted with the skill to create real life in the digital world. When he wakes up in Field of Reed's center for memory reconstruction with no idea how he got there, the therapists tell him he was a victim in a terrorist bombing by Khadijah Banks, the pioneer of memory editing technology turned revolutionary. A bombing which shredded the memory archives of all of its victims, including his husband Gabe. Next up horror, we have three new books coming out. From Nick Roberts, we have Mean Spirited, nice title, out from Crystal Lake in hardcover, trade paperback, and ebook. This is a horror novel. A father's world spirals out of control when a former student, he's a teacher, is killed and he's left with her dog and the dark presence that follows it. A haunted dog? Or more like a familiar, if you are familiar with that use of the word to mean animal companion. From Christian Clover, we have the classified dossier, Sherlock Holmes and Dorian Gray, out from Titan Books UK and hardcover and ebook. This is a mystery slash horror novel, second in the Sherlock Holmes, the classified dossier series, pastiches of Holmes with a variety of literary and fantastic villains, this time 
Oscar Wilde character from The Picture of Dorian Gray. Mysterious socialite Dorian Gray is at the center of Sherlock Holmes' latest investigation in this mashup of Victorian mystery and horror. From Scarlet to St. Clair, we have A Touch of Chaos, out from Bloom Books and hardcover trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a dark fantasy romance novel, seventh in the Hades ex Persephone saga series based on Greek myths. Demeter's making heavy weather in the lead up to the wedding of Hades and Persephone, which sounds like a very generous usage of the word touch because it sounds like a lot of chaos is about to happen. Next up, fantasy, we have five new books to talk about. From Kara Selene, we have debut A Feather So Black, out from Orbit US and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel second in the Fair Folk trilogy. Set in a world of magic and moonlit forests, this romantic fantasy tells the story of a changeling, her cursed sister, and the dangerous fey lord she must defeat to save her family. From Hannah Kaner, we have Sunbringer, out from Harper Voyager US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the second in the Fallen Gods trilogy. Still reeling from the loss of Kissin, young noble Inara and her little god of white lies, Skeddy, have set out to discover more about the true nature of their bond. Meanwhile, Elogast, no longer a loyal knight of King Aaron, has been tasked with killing the man he once called friend. From Adam Silvera, we have Infinity Kings, out from Quill Tree in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is a young adult superhero fantasy novel, third in the Infinity Cycle series, about brothers warring against each other. From Chris Sugden and Jen Sugden, we have debut High Voltage, out from Gallants in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy novel of an 1887 London where the Industrial Revolution went much further than our world. From Kendra Brokus, we have Between You and Us, out from Waterbrook in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a Christian fantasy novel about a grieving woman who steps into an alternate universe on her 10th anniversary, in which her marriage is failing, but her daughter is alive and well. Finally, in anthologies and collections, we have five titles. That's books made of a mishmash of shorter stories for anyone who's not paying attention. From Bodhisattva Chattopadhyay, we have The Inhumans and Other Stories, a selection of Bengali science fiction out from MIT Press and trade paperback and ebook. This is an original anthology of science fiction stories originally written in Bengali, translated and edited by Chattopadhyay, part of the Radium Age series of early science fiction. From Anastasia Renee, we have Here in the Middle of Nowhere, out from Amistad and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a collection of linked Afrofuturism science fiction stories, poetry, and flash fiction, exploring what happens when God is a black woman in a town, or there are multiple universes in the middle of nowhere, and millions of gods and saints in those universes. From DK Mock, we have debut collection The Heart of the Labyrinth and Other Stories, self published in trade paperback and ebook. This is a collection of 12 stories, too new. A war librarian makes a pact to save the monsters of her realm. A high school girl ferries refugees from broken, enchanted worlds. An underfunded roboticist builds a robot kraken to explore the abyssal depths. From Rob Costello, we have The Dancing Bears, Queer Fables for the End Times, out from Lathe Press in ebook. This is a collection of 11 speculative stories, three new, illustrated by Ryan Vance. This debut collection features young queer characters grappling with love and desire in a heartless world hurtling toward the abyss. From Maxim Jakubowski, we have Reports from the Deep End, stories inspired by J.G. Ballard, out from Titan Books UK in hardcover, trade paperback, and ebook. This is an anthology of 32 science fiction short stories in tribute to the prophetic dystopias of new wave sci-fi pioneer and literary titan of the 20th century, J.G. Ballard. Authors include Pat Cadigan, Ramsey Campbell, Paul DiFilippo, Christopher Fowler, Samantha Lee Howe, Nick Mamatas, Michael Moorcock, Jeff Noon, Christine Polson, Will Self, and Lavi Tidhar. That wraps up this week. Come see us at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms, www.locusmag.com or our Patreon. Thanks for spending some time with us. Please do us a favor, mush the like and subscribe buttons, turn notifications on, and don't forget to check out our fundraiser on Indiegogo. And let me know what books you're looking forward to in the comments below. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.